morning, good morning, good morning, my friends, and welcome back to another teacher vlog. Today is Tuesday, September 8th, and I'm still working online. So I have this week and then next week left online, and then the kids come back after fall break. <sighs> Sorry for the interruption, but I wanted to pop into the middle of this vlog and just thank Glasses USA for sponsoring this video. So you guys know that I love glasses. If I'm gonna have terrible eyesight, I at least want my glasses to be cute and to match all of my different outfits. So I am a glasses connoisseur and I have so many pairs, but you guys, I partnered with Glasses USA again to bring you four new pairs of glasses and a discount for 65% 65, 65 off of your first pair on Glasses USA. So I'm gonna share with you guys the four new frames that I got this time. So if you're not familiar with Glasses USA, they are an online glasses shop where you put in your prescription, you pick the frames you want, you can customize the lenses that you'd like, you can do blue light blocking, you can do UV protection, anti-scratch, mirrored, all of those cool things you can do with lenses. You can also do near vision, progressive, and bifocals. So all of your glasses needs the same things you would do if you went to your optometrist's office, the same kind of stuff, you just order them online and they're a lot cheaper. You can also do blue light blocking if you have non-prescription and you want to just order a pair of blue light blocking glasses for regular everyday use, you can also do that as well. They also have this really cool online try-on feature, which I did use this time because normally I order large frames. This time, most of my glasses are medium frames. I wanted to just see if there was a difference in how they looked on my face, so I did order medium-sized glasses this time, and they turned out great. So all you do is you find the frames you want, you pick the lenses that you like, you add your prescription in, and then they show up at your door two weeks later. So like I said, I'm going to be linking all of the new frames from today down in the description box below, as well as a link to send you to get 65% off of your first pair of Glasses USA glasses. So let's get started. These are from my last haul. These are like a crowd favorite. You guys love these. I don't know how many times I've been asked about those ones, but you guys, I got all new frames this time. So the first pair that I got are these really cute rose gold metal frames. And I've never owned a pair of cat eyes before, but these are kind of like a cat eye shape. You can kind of see them there. Um, they are a rose gold. And I wasn't sure how these were gonna look on my face because they're mediums, but I actually like them. They're not too, too big. They're not um, in your face. And I really, really like these, you guys. I wasn't sure, but I do. And I believe these are called Auto, Autoto. Autoto, yes, Autoto. So these are the rose gold Autoto frames. Hello, Jack, welcome to the party. Um, and all of the frames that I got today are blue light blocking. I wanted to get all blue light blocking since I am in front of a screen so much. Okay, so the next pair that I got are these tortoiseshell square frames. Love these. So they are straight on the top, pretty straight, and then they just come down like a Ray-Ban kind of shape. And then the sides are very thin metal and then a tortoiseshell um, earpiece. So I really like these ones too. They're very um, sturdy, they're very strong. They feel very, um, like they're not flimsy at all. So, so this next pair you guys actually saw me wearing in the ending of my last vlog because I've tried to film this like three times and I just hate it every time I filmed it. So Oh, I'm redoing it here. Um, but these are these really cool, I call these my Johnny Depp glasses because they remind me of the ones he wears all the time. So they're like the super round, um, kind of like vintage looking. And these glasses are really funny because they came with these goofy sunglass piece that you can put on top. I probably will never wear these, but I just thought it was hilarious that they even came with them. Like. If I need to go out for recess duty, you know, I can just clip these on and I'm ready to go. Um, I've been wearing these at night because they're really very sturdy, very tight, and because they're plastic, I can lay down on my pillow and they're not gonna like break on me. So anyway, those are the third pair that I got and these are called Muse and they will be linked down below as well. And then the last pair that I got is probably my favorite. I have been wanting a pair of prescription aviators forever and I finally got them. They are black 
and they are prescription so I can wear these in the car I can take these I think I'm gonna keep these at school and save them for recess or duty um, because I know that I will be going outside um, for recess with my students and then if I have any morning duties or afternoon duties it's nice to have a pair of sunglasses I am 30 now and so I'm trying to decrease the amount of squinting that happens so that I cannot have as many wrinkles. So anyway, these are super nice. They're not blue light blocking, obviously, but they are prescription sunglasses. So I really, really like these. And they do feel and fit just like a regular aviator would. Um, they're not too high on my face and I like how big they are. They're not super small. So I think bigger frames look better on my face. I have a big head, so. So like I mentioned before, all of these frames are going to be linked down in the description box below and there's also going to be a link there for you to get 65% off of your first pair of Glasses USA glasses. So let's get back right into the vlog. So um, a couple things just, oh, I already knew it was here, but ah, my TV is here, you guys. It's finally here. It does not look like they have put any electricity in my wall though. Um, so that you know, not gonna work. Um, this TV is huge, 75 inches. I hope it fits right there. <laughs> anyway, so the fact that it's here means that they are probably going to be drilling in here, in which case, I don't know if I should go home and work or if I should just work from here, I don't know. Um, I still have my three Google Meets today, so. I will still be working from school, but um, next week we were given instructions to teach expectations for when they return to school. So next week is going to be a catch up week for any students who have not completed work. We're going to give them next week to complete any assignment that they have not done that they would like to turn in for credit and we're going to be teaching expectations. So a lot of my instructional videos are going to be of me modeling expectations in the classroom. I'm hoping that my teammates will come to school so that we can film some together because I think that would be really fun for the kids to see all three of us interacting with one another. And I'm hoping that they do that. So that's what this week's gonna be about. Um, so I need to start prepping for I'm going to try to get graded today, prep for next week, tomorrow, and then start prepping for the weeks returning, so August 5th on Thursday and Friday this week. So we'll see how I do. Also today is pajama day, so I'm wearing very cozy clothing. Um, and I don't want to wear my slippers to school, so I'm just wearing my Crocs because <laughs> I feel like they look like slippers. Okay, anyway, I'm going to get my butt in gear. I need to drink. I'm going to drink this energy drink this morning instead of coffee because I really like these. These are the Alani New Energy. Hey, you guys, and happy Wednesday. I'm still here in the classroom. <laughs> So most Wednesdays, I do not work from school, but since we're getting closer to coming back to school in person, I've decided to just keep working at school as if the kids were here um, and helps me get into the routine. I also had a RED meeting, which if you're new to education, RED is review of existing data. So this is a child who is um, receiving special education services and we're just reviewing everything and just making sure that we're solid and good to go for him and so that was at 7 30 this morning which i'm like come on guys you have to do it so early but um it's the reality because during the school year when kids are here we do have to meet early so that we can get it out of the way before kids come to campus but anyways it's wednesday and my tv is still not mounted i'm just kind of like to the point where I just, I'm sure it will be hung before students return. And I'm hoping that that is a thing. Um, so I received a thing in the mail today. I ordered this on jane.com. It's one of these goofy like um, face shields, which 
I think is really cool. But I was just talking to my dean of students and I don't think that I can just wear this. I think I have to wear a mask as well. But I'm not that paranoid, so I don't know if I'll even get to use this because I was hoping I could wear this instead of the mask. I don't know, I'm gonna have to ask my actual principal about that one. But okay, so Wednesday today, I'm half prepped for next week already. So I think I'm gonna spend my morning grading and entering scores, which takes forever. But I set myself up for success last week and only gave them assignments that are pre-graded so that all I have to do is record the score and then if they did um, less than par, then I get to resend it to them and they get to try again. So that assignment is a studies weekly test that comes at the end of every week. And it's out of nine points. It's graded for me, so I don't have to do anything with that. And then the other assignment is just a quick Google slide one pager, and it is for participation. So all they had to do were, was answer the questions. So I will go through and look at all of those and mark them. Um, my husband actually offered to help me grade, which is super nice of him. So we'll see. I might have to hide uh, the kids' names and figure out how to do that, but he might grade those for me. So I'm gonna be entering in grades. I do have another meeting today at 9.30. It is my last new to the district training. So it is all on the TAP rubric, which is our evaluation rubric. And so I have that training at 9.30. And then I will begin more prep for next week. Next week is very different. I think I told you guys we have parent-teacher conferences. So my schedule is a little bit weird. Monday and Tuesday is the same. Wednesday and Thursday, I have three Google Meets within an hour. So I have period one is eight o'clock, period two is 8.20, period three is 8.40. And then we have conferences from 10 to four. Um, we're only supposed to be meeting with Target Kids. So we have 21 available time slots and we are only going to pull in students that we feel need a conference and we're not including students who are not returning to campus. So anybody who's returning to school and they're going online, we will not be conferencing with those parents because they're gonna be moving to a different um, institution anyway. Um, so then Friday is back to normal. They're thinking about giving us the day off from Google Meets because that, um, that Friday is our last day before fall break and the last de technical work day that we have to prepare for when kids return on the 8th. So next week is going to be very heavy on preparing for the first week of school. I'm going to do a video that talks about what my plans are for the first week of school, and I will share that with you guys another time. I'll probably film that next week. And then I think I'm gonna take a two week break from YouTube, apples and tiaras, because we are going on a couple of vacations and I really want to focus on just being present. So I hear people in the hallway. Okay guys, so um, it's been a few hours. It is now 11.10. I don't have another meeting until two o'clock. So I'm just working on stuff in my classroom for a little bit. I did film a video lesson for next week. And now I need to brainstorm two more things that I want the kids to do next week on Thursday, Friday um, that are more like classroom procedures, things like that, rather than like PBIS stuff. So that's what I'm gonna work on next. But right now I'm taking a mental break and I'm just kind of prepping my classroom. So I did remove a couple of the desks that were over here blocking the door. I moved four of them, no, five of them out into the hallway because we do have a lot of stuff that's stacked out there already. So I figured if I just added five more desks, it wouldn't matter. And then I took the remaining three, which I'm probably gonna <laughs> swap that one out because it'll drive me crazy um, for a shorter one. But I decided to keep three regular desks up front to make myself like a countertop space. And then that way, if for some reason I get another kid, I do have another desk. I have three of them. Like I said, I'll probably swap this one out for like this shorter one. But at least now I have like a counter space up front and I can just kind of like put things there. Um, 
or my team teachers can put things there in the morning. So like materials that they like are trying to prep and they wanna just bring things in and store them, they can put them here. I also hung up all of my thinking maps and I put them over here. I was gonna leave this space free for the math and ELA teacher, but I figure since everything's pretty much gonna be virtual, they can share anchor charts and whatever else on their Google Classrooms and then kids can have access to them via Google Classroom. So I figured that would be fine. I'm going to make this wall into a student work wall. And so I'm going to have my homeroom kids work up there. So if one of my team teachers wants to showcase, you know, a, an ELA project or a math project, they can give it to me and I will hang it up here. So I'm gonna actually take these posters down and then I'm thinking I might make a label for the top that says wow work or something simple, basic. This table is going to be the teaching station. So when my team teachers wheel themselves in here, they will have a table up front to work on where they can put the document camera, they can do whatever. I'm thinking I'll probably place it right here in front of this portion of the whiteboard so that all of the kids can see the television, which is where everything is going to be put up. So either that or like kind of sticking out this way so that they can kind of like hide behind it, I guess, so that they're out of the way of this kid because this kid will have, if I'm standing here, this kid will get blocked from the TV. So I think I'll probably be able to scoot a couple of rows back some more and have more space up front. So that will be nice. And then I also have a stack of things that I wanna take home. This bucket full of stuff, it's like random things. I think I'm gonna take them home. And then I moved these black tables back here to be like a small group space. So this will be where I pull kids one-on-one -on -one if I need to do that. I have some black stools that I will place around this so that if I have to pull a couple kids back at a time. I printed dojo invitations for all three of my classes because I do intend on using class dojo as much as possible. So I printed those so they're ready to be sent home when the kids return to school. I'm gonna start plopping anything and everything that's paper that needs to go home. I'm gonna plop it here and start putting all of my things for next week on this, or the week after fall break on this table. Uh, what else? I need to put my curriculum away. I might actually start making piles so that I can give a book to every kid. These are going to be, if the kids do anything in this, they're going to take a photo of it and upload it to Google Classroom so that I don't have to have any paper tracking issues, but like basically they would just hold it up to their screen, take a photo of it, and then put it on their Google Classroom assignment. I'll probably make a virtual module thing and then anything I want them to turn into me, they'll just upload it there and I can just go search for it. So I'll do that. And then this is where I'm planning to put my Chrome cart. This might change though, because I know that we're not gonna have a Chrome cart for every teacher, but there are enough Chromebooks for every student. So I might have to put my Chrome cart right here by the door if I'm the one that keeps it so that the kids from next door can come and grab a Chromebook from my room. So I might just put it right here by the door. That way it's kind of in the back and it won't be a huge issue. So I might put something else over here. I wanted to place a desk outside in the hallway right here. And I wanted that to be like a no mask spot so if kids are struggling or they're feeling like they need a mask break, they can step out into the hallway, prop the door open and take their mask off. 
So I'm gonna talk to my principal and my team teacher, um, my math teacher who teaches next door because they'll share that desk, if that would be okay to put a mask break spot in the hallway. So I'm gonna ask admin if I can do that. I have sent out a sign up genius to my parents asking for donations for science supplies because every kid has to have their own project or hands-on material rather than it being in a group. It is going to be a lot more expensive. So I have come up with like three weeks of STEM activities and hands-on experiments. And I've sent out a sign up genius for parents to sign up for bringing some stuff in. And I do have quite a bit of parents who have signed up for that. So I'm very pleased and I'm very grateful. Um, so yeah, that's awesome. Paper plates, plastic cups, gum, sugar cubes, jello, just basic stuff that I would have to go out and buy myself. I know that our science lab thing over in our school has some stuff, but I know they probably won't have things like gum or jello. So I did push that out to my parents. And so far, so good. They all plan on bringing it on Monday, October 5th when they come to school. And then every few weeks, I'll just post a new one and just say, okay, for the next round of hands-on activities, we're going to need this. It's a lot easier for one family to go buy three boxes of Jell-O. I know it's not expensive, but for one family to buy three boxes of Jell-O and another family to buy two things of paper plates than for me to go out and buy everything. Especially since I need like 60 projects instead of like 20 because normally they'd work together or in partners and so I just need a lot more supplies. Okay you guys so it is now Thursday I'm getting ready to finish up my last meeting of the day and then I will be moving over into office hours. I have got pretty much nothing done today but that's fine. Um we did get some information about returning to school and I plan on doing a full video just walking you guys through our school's plan and what we're doing and how we're going to handle coming back to school in person in October. I did learn that my class size is 18. My homeroom class size is 18 and then the other two classes are 20 and 16. So they are even numbers, which is great. I have set up for 20. And then I have three extra desks. So if we get any more kids, I can add more. Um, we also learned that the kids are going to be rotating instead of teachers. So that means I'm going to keep my stools because the kids will only be in here for like 75 minutes, maybe 80 to 90. It all depends on transitions and the schedule. We don't have that yet, but once we do, I will start planning. I have begun planning for the first week of school and I will talk all about that in my next vlog, but I am going to take two weeks off so you guys will not hear from me. I will film the video, but I'm probably not gonna post it until like the very end of September. So I'll probably film it next week and then I won't post it until the end of September. I'm gonna take a couple weeks off and just enjoy my fall break, not worry about social media, um, my husband and I are going to be filming for our family channel, so if you guys want to keep in touch with me, you guys can head over there and follow us, and um, we're going to be doing some vlogs about our vacations that we're taking for fall break and the preparations for those. But I wanted to just jump on here, you guys, and just end the vlog. I'm so, so grateful that you guys are here. I so appreciate all of your love and support, and just know that you guys aren't alone when you're sitting here in your classrooms by yourself struggling through everything. Just know that everybody is and it's okay to feel stressed and anxiety and overwhelmed because everybody's feeling it. The end is hopefully near um, and we'll see how things go. But anyway, don't forget you guys, I know that I mentioned Glasses USA in this vlog. So for all of those links to my Glasses USA glasses will be linked down in the description below as well as a 65% off link for you too. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys!